सबसे पहले मैं रेडियंस के जितने भी फैकल्टी हैं और डायरेक्टर्स हैं उनको धन्यवाद देता हूं जितने भी यंग जनरेशन के साथ में लगभग 20 साल पहले मैंने परीक्षा लिखा था अब इनको देख के लगता है कि फिर मैं स्टूडेंट बन गया हूं एंड एंड सेकेंडली आई कंग्रेचुलेट ऑल द पीपल हु सिक्योर्ड द रैंक्स इन आई टी जे ई एंड गोइंग टू जॉइन द एस्टीम्ड इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ एक्सलेंस ऑफ लर्निंग एंड आई होप यू विल हैव ए गुड करियर इन योर एकेडमिक फ्यूचर एंड कमिंग टू द इशू ऑफ टूडेज डिस्कशन मतलब यहाँ तो काफ़ी बच्चे हैं और उनके साथ में पेरेंट्स भी हैं uh, मैं इन सभी को uh, एक दो चीज़ कहना चाहता हूँ uh, कोई भी एग्ज़ाम हो मतलब वेदर इट इज़ आई का हो या कोई मेडिकल साइंसेस के हो या टू दैट फैक्ट द फाइनल Uh, जिसमें दो तीन बच्चे ने कहा है कि दे गोइंग टू जॉइन इंडियन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सर्विस एंड अदर सिविल सर्विसेज तो आई थिंक सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स वर रिफरिंग इन देयर स्पीचेस एंड देयर एक्सपीरियंस शेयरिंग अबाउट हार्ड वर्क यस डेफिनेटली वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट टूल्स विथ विच यू कैन अचीव एनी सक्सेस इन योर करियर इज हार्ड वर्क एंड देर नो रिप्लेसमेंट फॉर इट एंड सेकेंडली Uh, I would like to emphasize on that is they should have a clarity of thinking also. And one of the student was mentioning uh, the clarity of thinking means that he should be able to teach. I agree with him. Once you are able to express yourself and you are able to communicate what you have learned, I think that is the best uh, process of learning. So definitely, apart from hard work a proper understanding and proper learning is one of the important aspects of cracking any examination and second is nowadays uh, there is a stress on even communication skills maybe most of the uh, students will go and uh, acquire their professional uh, knowledge and uh, uh, get an excellence in uh, academic knowledge apart from that they need uh, communication skills also it's one of the important areas which they have to take care as far as uh, uh, reaching top positions in any organization or individual business uh, affairs also so i would like the young students to concentrate on communication skills and especially in that one of the areas they should concentrate is language that is being neglected in most of the uh, institutions they say that it's only a qualifying examination but yes even in civil services earlier it used to be a qualifying paper now the marks uh, secured in the uh, language paper are also counted against the uh, rankings so i would like uh, the young students uh, who are going for a professional course they should concentrate on their language part also so that they are able to communicate what they have learned and uh, finally i would like to uh, uh, say one important uh, point is uh, uh, so many people are playing music so many people have so many uh, hobbies yes definitely you should pursue all such hobbies because the now the life is very complicated with the advancement in communication uh pressure on the individual brain is creating lot of stress in their activity level and this is going to be a big cause of concern for the younger generation because they have to concentrate and then secure their positions for that i would like to uh, advise all you people is you should pursue some hobby so that uh, your uh, free time is spent on such hobbies so that you can concentrate on other activities thoroughly at proper time and finally uh, uh, one of your director was asking me to uh, say few words about the civil service examination yes definitely that is one of the prestigious examination of the country 
and uh, the selections are yeah, I think less than 1000 in a an year. Uh, um, for the people who would like to aim for that examination, I would uh, suggest that uh, they should be of more generalist uh, rather than a specialist. In the sense, they should be a more a person with uh, a reactive behavior. If something happens, what should be your uh, reaction to that? And then general understanding about the Indian society and the constitution and then government policies is also required. For that, I would suggest them, they should regularly follow one of the newspapers which they like. They may not uh, like all the newspapers, but they should select one newspaper and read it uh, thoroughly and make notes of everything. You make a personal note. Malab, if you read it once, you may not remember it. If you write it once, definitely you will, it will get a, some impression in your mind. So, concentrate on general studies aspect and then you, you are malab, uh, uh, in civil services, you don't need any specialist because you are trained. Once you are selected, you are put to a rigorous training and wherever services, whichever service you go, there is a, a rigorous training of three years. So, during that time, you acquire all the uh, uh, professional qualifications required for that particular service. For, for cracking that examination, I think you should be more generalist. And uh, I wish, uh, it's one of the prestigious examination. And uh, when I wrote that exam, in my personal case, I don't know about that exam. Accidentally it happened. So my professor advised that why don't you give the exam. Then uh, we went and wrote the exam and we cleared it. It's not a tough examination. Only thing is you have to be very systematic, methodical and analytical. I think all these three things you should put in your mind and then uh, uh, a bit of seriousness during that one year of examination period. It's almost like one year examination period. So you should be very careful and uh, uh, in tackling the question papers and then they want precision also in that examination. I have seen it. First time I couldn't get selection, second time I got it. Uh, the difference was that in first time I could not write my answers precisely what they wanted. In the second time I was so precise uh, to the point. I think uh, that was one of the my points in which I got success. So precision is also one of the important aspects for the civil services and now the stress is also on language papers. So you should be careful about your language uh, uh, subject preparation also and I wish uh, if anyone has any interest you can come to me. Uh, I have, uh, your director knows my mobile number you can take from him and you can come for any advice and uh, I wish the young students here uh, should take that examination because for preparing that examination itself a lot of effort is required. So, you will come to know number of things and it is not that everyone is successful at every place. But preparing for that examination makes you a better person, a better understanding with the society of the country. So, I wish all the young students who have secured the ranks again, once again and uh, wish them a bright and future academic and professional uh, career and uh, finally thank uh, the uh, directors of the Radiance and the faculty members of the Radiance Academy for calling me here or interacting with you all people. Thank you.